Hi, this is Annie Manning with Paint the Moon Photoshop Actions, and today I'm working with the Luminosity, the Essence, and the Artisan sets, and today I'm going to be working in Elements with this edit, and we're going to start off our edit with the Essence. If you have both sets, you're going to want to start your edit with uh, the Workflow Actions and the Essence, and then move on to the Artisan after that. Um, if you don't have both sets, if you're just working with Artisan, you want to make sure that you have a clean uh, edit um, uh, or just a fabulous straight out of camera shot. But you're going to want to start out with um, a nice, bright, uh, color balanced image before you run the Artisan actions. And so we're going to start here with the Essence. I'm going to select it up here. And I'm going to run one of the color base workflow actions. And this one is called light bright. This is a, a very bright, colorful base workflow action. Um, it's good for underexposed images. Uh, this one's not that underexposed, and so I'm going to bring down the opacity on it as a whole after it finishes running. It also adds a very good punch of color to the image. And actually that doesn't look all that bad. It looks a little bit bright on the left hand side here. I'll take it down just a tiny bit here. And uh, all of our actions, of course, are fully adjustable. You can go in and tweak any of the layers to your liking, turning them on or off, adjusting the opacity. And the great thing about these luminosity sets are that the actions are all stackable and are made to work together without interfering with each other and without needing to flatten in between actions. And uh, we're going to, okay, so we have our workflow base action here, Light Bright. And uh, we're going to go to the Artisan next, which is our um, more artistic actions, uh, color shifts, hazes, mattes, um, toning. And we're going to run Vintage Vanilla on this. And you can see at the end of running this one, it stacks it right up on top of the action that we just did previously, Light Bright. And I'm going to bring the opacity back down on that. And I have my um, gonna have my brush selected. Just hit B on the keyboard to make your brush active. And I'm going to mask off a little bit on her face. I have my brush set to 50% opacity on that, so it just masked off about half of that action off of her face. And now I'm going to run another uh, action from Artisan called Rhapsody. And again, just mask a tiny bit off of her face. You don't need to do this with, with most of the actions, but some of them, if they get a little bit too intense or too matte, um, I like to take a little bit off the face to not lose detail there and then bring that down a little bit. And I'm going to go back to the Essence set. And I'm going to run Velveteen. And this gives a very rich, very um, soft and deep uh, effect over the entire image. And it's one that you should probably uh, mask off the, the subject again. So you don't get that. I'm going to turn my opacity back up to 100% on my brush and very just quickly mask off of my subject to keep her in crisp detail and not too muddy. And then we're going to go back to the Artisan and finish it off. I'm going to run the Rich Deep Matte. It's one of my favorites uh, to run at the end to give that matte finish to your background. You can leave it over the entire image, but I usually recommend masking it off again. At least take it off of the eyes, I would say. And I'm gonna I'm gonna take my brush down to about 80%, so it's not taking it all the way off of her. It's leaving a little bit of a matte look over her. And then I'm going to run La La Love, and this is one I really love to use. Uh, inverted, and I will show you how to do that. And that's if I want to just dot color here and there on the background, just to get a little bit of added depth and warmth. And so when this finishes running, it's a very intense, warm action, and it's too much for the image as a whole on this one. Or you can turn it, you know, you can always turn them down if you wanted to use it as a warmth over the entire image. I'm going to, instead, I'm going to hit Command-I or Control-I on a PC, and uh, Command-I there. 
Okay, and then I'm going to take my white brush, so I'm going to hit, you can hit D on your keyboard to get your default colors there, and that makes your brush white there, as you see. You can hit X to switch your black, black and white over here, so we want to make sure we have white in order to reveal what's on this black layer mask. And I'm going to increase my brush size with my right bracket key, decrease your brush size with your left bracket key, and I'm just going to dot little bits of warmth to the background using La La Love. And you can see that just added some warmth to the background without affecting her. And so this is our final before and after using Luminosity, the Essence, and the Artisan for Elements and available for Photoshop as well. That's our before and that's our after. And another thing I, I want to show you really quick that I do sometimes at the end of edits, if I use some color toning that maybe brightened it a little bit too much. Uh, in the Essence set, we have an action called Dimmer Switch. And that basically is just like it sounds. You can dim the entire image just a little bit, make it a little bit deeper in case your, your edit got a little bit too bright for you. And you can use it at the beginning as well. It's actually in the in the beginning of the set in case you want to adjust your exposure at the beginning. And so you can see that that just richened it up a little bit if you want less of a hazy look. And so here's our, our before and our after using Luminosity, Essence, and Artisan. Uh, thank you for listening, and I hope this was helpful, and have a beautiful day.